apple passé. Oh, I've never had one of those. It's a bit common, to be blunt. It's more your mum and dad's cup of tea. Except there's too many like them trying to break into the market. No. There's going to be somewhat a bit classier for us. You mean I won't have to come out here in the middle of winter and take my clothes off? No more seasonal work for us. Constantly being laid off. Soon we'll be up there with Mr and Mrs Gamble and Mr and Mrs Blondie. In a nice semi with central eating. Little car. Funny little dog to bring me slippers. We strides round the block in winter. A couple of bright, funny little kids. They'll be doing very nicely for us then. Sounds lovely. Well, when do we move in? Well, not straight away, like. It takes a bit of time. Oh. But they promise they'll see us all right. You can't just dive into that sort of thing. You've got to learn to crawl before you can fly. You're likely to get drowned. Got to get acclimatised first. I'm not quite with you, Charlie. Well, it's very simple. I mean, it's like what they were saying. We've been living in this very narrow little world in Biggleswade. Bigoted Biggleswade, as that man in the leather op hats called it. And we've got to get more with it first. With what? Well... It's a matter of... Well, for example, we've been doing this rather coarse stuff, which is all very well for your mum and dad, it being catered for their taste, but it's out of touch with what's happening now. People are freer now than they used to be, and they need more adult stuff. Intelligent, sophisticated. Oh, you mean like doing that nudist camp joke with a trilby hanging on your... Well, that sort of thing. But... And me? Fully exposed sort of thing. Full frontal, it's 